What's up, y'all? So, Drama Alert, Asian Doll vs. Taylor Girls, Cuban Doll vs. Jordan. Oh, I'm so over that. DDG opens up and more Messy Monday. So, y'all, make sure you grab your drink, grab your schmook, grab your little snaggish neck, and let's get to this video. You dig? Make sure y'all subscribe and hurry up. Let's get it. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And if you are new, welcome to the league. So, Drama Alert Asian Doll vs. Taylor Girls. I already read the title. Let's get it. It is so much going on, but. I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna step now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Okay, y'all, now after last night, I am exhausted. Didn't be amazed. So you added music to this video? I don't like it. Crazy. I mean, he from Lil like Nas winning music, music video of the year, from Chloe out there giving me everything that I needed, Normina, Busta Rhymes, everybody. I mean, y'all on that Normina. stage, baby. We Why can't they not pronounce Normani? Fucking uh, Tamika over here earlier talking about Normani. What? Normandy we have made it to another Monday. Shout out to you. Give yourself a round of applause because, like I said, living in these times, child, it is hard to make it through a week, and we did, okay? Oh, but before we start, if you are new, I need you to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you can get my post notifications when I post a video. Also, if you've been here before and my post notifications ain't on, Hit them things right okay. now. Stop and go do it, okay? Please. Also, I need y'all to like this video, um, share it to your social medias, and do all of that for me. Thank you, and I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let me go on and give my shout out to my friend, and that is Kev. Hey, bitch. Kev, thank you so much for having my post notifications on on Twitter. You were the first to comment on my post, <laughs> and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me, friend. It is nothing like having a support system. So now I am taking the time out to support you and show you my gratitude for you being there for me. Hey, bitch. Well, we finna go on and get into this good old mess, honey. But before we get into it, we gotta get into that shit. And that is the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit. So grab your cup and pour because we are about to book you whole. First, the sugar honey iced tea, we have Janice. Now, shout out Janice said, look, I ain't gonna let y'all girls see that my niggas come on. I ain't posting no more me. I you girls not. are vultures. And I'm like, girl, first of all, <laughs> You said that two minutes ago. Okay, oh, so no. let's pack that up. All right, so because we didn't ask you to post them anyway. You was supposed to them. This was off your own free will. If the girls happen to go jibbling down well after you got done talking to them, that's on them. The man My mama told me quit uh don't advertise your nigga meat and what he be doing for you because somebody gonna take him. It's up for grabs, sis, but you know, I don't know, girl. I mean, maybe they was talking to your man while you was with your man. I don't know, girl, but you shouldn't be mad at them. You need to be mad at your man. Period. But she said she ain't posting them no more, child. She don't want y'all girls in her business and y'all girls be doing too much. Child, but like I always say, honey, private or not, a man gonna always do what he wants. <laughs> Next! So, girl, I don't know, honey, do what you feel is best, but hey, you know, I just don't see you keeping your man off social media, because, girl, you, I don't know, never mind, let me just hush, girl, she already don't like me, girl. All right, well, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's kiki, Miss K. 
Next to Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Kung Fu and Cowboy. Now baby, everybody said this took them by surprise because this is a random ass couple. I didn't even see this coming. So we all know he used to date Anne Marie and everybody's like, girl, I hope you don't get the blicky. And I'm like, girl. The blicky? Y'all so messy. But they ain't none of our business. This man is single, she's single. He can date who he want because when you break up, you are supposed to move on. So child, I'm gonna see how long this lasts. They kept her on the low, but then I guess they finally came out and he posted on his Instagram story. And he was like, happy birthday to my baby. And I'm just like, oh, and then all of a sudden, mama was in the music video and I'm like, oh, okay. They child, Kung, Kung Fu gives. She gives what it's supposed to. Well, her young ass. Yeah, that's for a few of the ones I'm all right, Shim. If y'all don't remember her, she was the girl that was um hanging around in Ellie Chopper, and they were supposed to be a little light night fling. So oh, we gonna see how this go, Chopper. It is what it is. So. Mm. Okay, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's get key next. Okay. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have DG. Now, child, DG done came through with a quick little update on his life. <laughs> and what he's been going through. And I'm just like, child, if it's one thing DDG gonna do is ask for some sympathy and okay. some attention, honey, because mama is more dramatic than a toddler. Okay, <laughs> so fans looked at his Instagram story because he asked me some questions and this is what he had to say. Do you and Kennedy still talk as friends? He replies with, I haven't talked to her in two years. Maybe in the future we could be home. But I think she's still mad at me. And I'm just like, DDG. <laughs> If you miss her, just say that. Or if you and Ruby going through something and you just try to make Ruby jealous, just say that. If you miss her, just say that. Y'all, I feel like my video too dark. Hold on, two seconds. For sure, if you miss her, just say that. Um, He miss her. He he had a, a, a slight, I don't want to call it an addiction because that's just too much, but he want to let her go. So, I don't think he over at all. That's why he keep, you know, when he want to get back with you, he start baiting you and shit, start saying little shit. And then so T-Pay just can, can get a hold of it and get to talking about it, child. He do too much. Not, okay. If he did try to rekindle a friendship, nine times out of 10, it'll just be for the views and for a business purpose. Let's just be real about the situation. And, and, and she need to stay her ass right where she at. Fenty and quiet. Because you know she making a bag with Fenty. Just stay your rich ass over there and make your own coin and have your fun and leave DDG ass alone. Because all he want is a bag. And, and you will definitely take that bag right back up, you know, where he wanted to be. So He's about his coin. And Candy, girl, please don't fall into the trap. Keep doing what you've been doing and stay on your own path, honey. Because that is a lot going on. What's your relationship status? He replies with single, nigga, you been single. Even when you was dating Ruby, you was single. Okay. Let's be clear about the situation. That shit ain't serious. But anyway, how are you literally mentally and physically? He said uh, mentally he is, you know, not where he wants to be. Soaking in, my, soaking in my success. Like I don't feel, I don't be feeling like I'm elevating as fast as I want to be, but I guess that's just me not being satisfied or content with, content with anything. Um, physically, I'm good. I just got a lower back pain because of weak ass bed. Ooh, child, he depressed on that tour. I knew he was gonna be depressed on that tour because, like, everybody ain't about that life. The baby is about that life, but uh, DDG is absolutely. This is one thing that has taken him out of his comfort zone. So he probably, you know, because Dub just got on tour with him, so he. He out with a bunch of people he really don't know. On top of, you know, the people he know. But, you know, when you with people you know and other people you don't know and y'all just together all the time. And then all them damn energies he around and doing all these interviews. and It, it be a lot. It be a lot. I, you know, shout out to them because ain't no way. But um, some people can handle it. You know, I think he's uncomfortable right now. That's all. Because he feels as though he's not moving in success at the rate that he should. Maybe that comes from him not being content with where he is and where he knows that he should be, which makes common sense, you know what I'm saying? But success takes time because the faster you get it, the faster you can lose it. So take your time to build your brain and build who you are. 
Then he said, but physically, um, <laughs> his back hurt because he got a bad bed, but I don't know. You got all that coin in the bed. Period. When's the last time you appreciate you, Kyron? Welcome to the league. Seen Essence. He was like, shit, five years. <laughs> Damn. I ain't seen her either. I have almost forgot about that little relationship. Cause then they used to do um pranks and stuff in the dorm room and he would prank her and all that. Ooh, child, that was the days. Ooh, we getting old. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then somebody Girl, said, <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I was telling Tamika, like, I am bored with your, uh, your YouTubers. <laughs> I'm so bored. She was like, nigga, me too. I said, man, let's go ahead and run it up like they did. But I ain't about to get born. I, I refuse to just be rich as hell and boring as fuck. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm still going to stay active with y'all. We still doing our streams. You know what I'm saying? I'm aiding with the shit. I'm flight reacts with the shit. Uh, we got, I got to see y'all. I got to talk to my friends. And then I got to figure out how I could put y'all in a private, in a private chat and then had the rest of them people. But maybe it, it'll just be, uh, clearly mods like everything else. But say for instance, we got 10,000 people in the chat. Y'all gonna have to be live on something else. I'm gonna have to have a hundred of y'all live on one thing. And then the rest of them live on something else. I can't do it. When you gonna drop a DDG Junior? I, I couldn't even focus because him <laughs> and these filters stress me out. He be trying to make yourself feel so miserable. Like he just be going through it, y'all. He just be. <laughs> this dude is funny. Thank he said, as soon as these eggs make it to the uterus. Stop, it's, wait. It's the egg making it to the uterus for me. Oh, child, we know where you live. He in LA. I was just like, who gonna tell him? Okay. <laughs> they ain't none of my business. Anyway, do you think it's possible for toxic relationships to ever get better again? And he replies with, probably, if you fucking with somebody that's mature, well, DDG, obviously, you ain't fucking with nobody that's mature. If yeah, I'm not playing. We're gonna have a VIP section uh, stream. I ain't got time for y'all talking about Nick. Nick now got too big. Now nah, she can't talk to us. Nah, we not. Uh uh. And I got 10,000 10, people in the chat and can't read everything y'all saying. Meanwhile, I can barely read everything y'all saying with 102 people in here. So you know I ain't looking at that chat. <laughs> no, ma'am. I figured it out, though. <laughs> yeah, y'all gonna have y'all. I'm telling you, y'all, we gonna have our own live over here. And then we gonna work it out. The relationship is toxic. Let's <laughs> just let's just be real about the situation. And then he said, "They gotta be sure in the mindset and don't dwell on the past." But child, sometimes that's what the toxic person says. They want you to forget about what they did so you can just move on. And then child nine times they're gonna do it again. So basically, <laughs> just try to avoid being with somebody who's toxic. <laughs> Thank like you, Nicole. Ruby period. And DDG. <laughs> me that was the life of a ddg next case next with shikani ice t we have conor mcgregor versus machine gun kelly child get up i was just like what is going on so if you didn't watch the vmas last the night um conor mcgregor and machine gun kelly had an altercation oh, what in the hell what But baby, no. he was pissed, and from what no. I'm hearing, I'm paying for my yeah, suit, and you throwing really soda on me. Oh. He about slip doing that shit. <laughs> he be, he be fly as hell, ready to be there by the other. I was like, ooh, child, they throwing soda? And I said, this is not the Bad Girls Club. Okay. But baby, he was pissed, and from what I'm hearing, allegedly, Conor McGregor wanted to take a picture with Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly wasn't happy because word on the curb is Megan be going to them UFC fights and stuff, honey. She's a real big fan of all the shenanigans and I guess Machine Gun Kelly wasn't happy and was like, oh no ma'am, I know you're not. And so they say allegedly he pushed the guy away and when he pushed him away because he didn't want him taking the picture, that's when he threw that drink on him. You pushed Conor McGregor? <laughs> you lucky you got security because boy. 
had he got his hands on you, that would have been a bad day. I would have said, yeah, take the picture just so I ain't have to deal with that. Go ahead. Yeah, I ain't tripping, but don't post it. You know what I'm saying? Right, and the girls got into it, honey, and they had this on the phone. I said, this is why the white crime is crazy. So the child, they interviewed them, and this is what they said. I don't know. Just, I don't even know the guy, to be honest with you. Just rumors. Just rumors. Nothing happened with me. I only fight real fighters, people that actually fight, you know what I mean? I certainly don't fight little vanilla boy rappers. You know, I don't even know real, because though. I don't know anything about them. Honey, I don't know what the hell Conor McGregor was talking about. I'm just like, child, boo. But he said he wasn't trying to, look at me, trying to tell him what he said. He said he ain't fighting uh, a nigga that can't fight, but... I'm gonna need you to calm down. <laughs> then when I heard him say, but all I know is he dated Megan Fox, that's when I was like, okay, those allegedly must got some truth to it. But I'm but, saying, Conor McGregor, you gotta take a picture with her when y'all at the fights and shit. <laughs> you just had to pick the VMAs for you to take, okay. Bitch, what took the cake was Machine Gun Kelly. You had a little scuffle with Conor McGregor on the carpet, what happened? <gasps> is it Coke or is it Sprite? <laughs> Damn! Did he just hit the mic and walk off? We gotta watch them VMA interviews. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? And walked yeah. off. Yeah. One thing to show, two things for certain. <laughs> is it Coke or is it Conor McGregor on the carpet? What happened? <gasps> is it Coke or is it Sprite? <laughs> Girl, it's just a what? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're moving Child. on to the next. Have a good night. One thing for show, <laughs> two things for certain. Megan Fox was like, shit, that's my man, and I'm still That's style. it. She said, we are not allowed to say. That's it. Go ahead, so let's take over your man and fix some titties. Uh, if it ain't about me, with the titties? let's be in this case. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have <laughs> India and Dev. Well, baby, this ain't up. nothing new. It seems like the love birds are in love. And child, this is yeah. the same exact situation that him and Janiel went through. So India Not girl, hold on because it's about roses. to be a roller coaster ride for you, girl. We seen it and heard it all before. This man is not that. So child, he went up and found an old picture when he manifested allegedly that he was gonna be with Miss India when he saw her at this teen event long time ago. Me and my girlfriend. <laughs> and as you heard in the video, he was like, oh, this is gonna be my girlfriend. So child, he very much been plotting on you since then. Oh, so shit. now he got you, I girl. Stop doing that. Hold on, y'all. Okay. And they just been posting these pictures. Like, they just overly in love. I'm like, girl, it's only been like, what, two weeks? Girl, two weeks. <laughs> Relax. But word of the curve is they probably was talking behind Janine back, and that's why Janine was going through it. She didn't call these girls vultures because she said these girls been plotting on her man like he was a piece of prey on the ground. But that's just me making a hypothesis. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Okay. Love as Beyonce would say, and we gonna see how long this lasts. Girl, what is it? It's September. I give it. I give it to the end of December. November because he'll be thankful for her. But then after that, girl, you know, around Christmas, girl, now they might want to take Christmas pictures. January is my deadline, but I'm giving January. them November. Anyway, we gonna see. Oh, how the girls kill me. All right, well, a wolf can't hide and she clothing too long. If it ain't about me. Let's keep in this case. All right, y'all. That's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First on the docket, we have Cute Dog versus Jordan B. Now, child, at this point, I am worn out. This man got to have some type of hoodoo voodoo on these girls because ain't no damn way. I'm going to be Cute Dog. I'm so over this. And I'm going to continuously post this man. And he's never posted me yet. Like, this man don't even acknowledge you, sis. And every other week or every other month, you posting this man like he your husband. Girl, what, he gay? <laughs> you just told us he was gay, but then you doing these posts and deletes trying to make somebody mad. And it's like, for what? For what, he was gay, sis? That's what you said, he gay. Anyway, she knew that would trigger Jordan, which what it did, because she know Jordan's been going through it about the child, so I guess she sees the moment to make Jordan mad, but baby, Jordan said, you know what? Jordan you want to go said. golden, bitch, I'm going to go to the pits of hell on your ass, and baby, she did. <laughs> so after Jordan saw the post and delete, they done took the Twitter, and baby, they start going at it. 
Cuban Dog done wrote Miss Junior knowing good and damn well that was gonna make that girl upset because she don't play about her child. And then Jordan turned around and said, well child, fuck it, I miss your mama. And I'm like, oh my God. Your girl mama passed away like I think we a couple of years ago or something like that. Yeah, girl, I don't even know. We can skip. Thank you all so very much. You understand me. Because and she didn't was conjunctive. with both And everybody. And that's for me, but she was attacking uh, under on the track and Summer Walker. Now, y'all, this is some bullshit. Because we just remember she was attacking Summer Walker for attacking London on the track. And we were all sitting here like, no, girl. You was just talking that same shit about him being a deadbeat father and you didn't like him and whoop, 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 and this is that. But now you're attacking Summer. Now, remember, I told y'all, I said. Friend, I don't know how to make uh, uh, tie dye. I don't know how to do that. I just think this girl got some hate towards Summer because if I can get you a tie-dye shirt that's already made, that I, I have a, a plug on that, but until I find a tie-dye hoodie, I definitely can't make one. Not that I can't, I'm not. I tried to make one before, I ain't like how it looks. Every time from the beginning of these situations, they have been attacking Summer. And I feel she took this moment to say, hey, now I can attack Summer again. If you don't like it, just say that. <laughs> just say that. So mind you, now everything gonna go up there and she gonna post. All that shit I said about London the other day was cap. He promised me he was gonna pay me to make him look good. If you thought that man was gonna pay you after you talked about him when he was with Summer, after how he done did Summer, what makes you think? And then you There's a whole lot, a whole lot of cap. I, I don't feel like he said that he was gonna pay her, but okay. And the man wasn't even doing shit for that. Day. What makes you think he was gonna pay you? <laughs> Come on now, sis. Oh my God. Sis, you don't put on the show and ain't get paid. That's a clown. <laughs> go late. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. Anyway, then she gonna go around and she gonna say, I'm big enough to say I'm dead wrong for disagreeing with someone over a little bit of money. Bitch, what is giving me is broke baby mama. Okay, broke as hell, baby mama, too. You doing anything strange for a piece of change. For this man, he don't give two cents about you. Two cents, friend. Lord, have mercy, <laughs> Jesus. If I was someone, I would be like, girl, take that motherfucking apology and stuff it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> anyway, Summer and I got our differences at the end of the day, but we both got our deadbeat-ass baby daddy. Bitch, sa save it. Because don't come for me publicly and then... Try and come for him publicly when he didn't pay you. Don't, don't, uh-uh. Save it. London thinks he can manipulate every situation he encounters. He is a snake. He has so many faces, he just takes turn playing. Sis, just say you was gullible. Just say you was a gullible, girl. Say you fell for it, child. You saw opportunity and seized it, girl. You thought this was gonna make you good back in his good graces and get you a little Jeep, a little car, a little something. Kid money back. That's what you thought, girl, and it didn't happen. He played you, sir. You, mean, you are, that was corny, girl. You can't uncorn it, bitch. You can't. You can't. That was fucked up what you it's did. It's the song. can't uncorn it for me. Horrible. Because <laughs> at this point, do you want to fuck Summer or London? Who? Okay. Who? And so she continues to just writing more shit. And I'm like, at this point, bitch, I don't even want to hear shit me you say. Either, Ain't shit I was you over say it. credible no more. You lost all your credibility in anything that you say, child. Talking about something he said he was going to pay me if I made him look good. Bitch. Did you not hear Trina? You put your trust in a nigga super whole high your figure. You don't fuck your back strand and your sister and not pay you your coin, girl. Oh, oh. my God. So then after all of that, she now says, London and I have had a rough road and we have settled our differences. Bitch. Which one is it? At that moment, I said, oh, hold a check cleared. <laughs> the check has cleared. You hear me? I didn't have to even read no more. I know what she finna say. I know what she finna go back and do damage control. No, bitch. You got that coin. You got that coin. And then you gotta go back and retract your steps again. This woman is sick in the head. She got a problem. She has a problem and she can fix it. She will do anything. Anything. And when a person like that would do anything to survive, they will do, say, hurt, and manipulate any and everybody around them. You need to watch her, Summer. And London. Okay. The girl ain't no good. She called him a snake. That's the snake. <laughs> but anyway, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Y'all want to keep fooling with a fool with her. But that's what they say. Be careful who you have children with. Okay. Honey. That's one thing my mama <laughs> did mama tell got some me. Issues. All right. Well, I wish you the best. The uh, summer. Stay clear. 
If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next one, okay? We have Angel Dog versus Tag Girls. Now, this happened out of nowhere. I didn't even see this coming because, you know, they were just at her birthday party when it seems like all the girls are falling out. Now everybody's thinking, oh my God, Taylor girls are the problem. So y'all tell me in the comments who y'all think the problem really is. So let's get into this. So Asian Doll had went on, I think it was like a podcast or something. Girl, I'm and mad. she talked about the situation. Y'all, why come this, you know that girl? I that hate, she say, why home. come? Oh, I hated that. So she ended up, yeah, she, yeah, 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 yeah. Fix she ended up, uh, she went post to the studio me. I posted with myself, but she ended up coming. Y'all know my little friendly ass. So y'all, girl, all that, that line to play my um, play my shit. Why? I guess like they was vibing to my stuff. But, like, why she get up and try to play her shit? I said, uh huh. <laughs> and you know <laughs> what, y'all? Now this really sounds like a lie. Cause at first, I kind of believed it, um, because clearly I, you know. Ty ass been lying recently. So I'm like, what? Ty, you in some other shit again? So boom, here come Asian dog with this. And I'm like, damn, this probably true. Not true at all. Her ass was the fuck lying. Do you hear me? Just lying. Her lying ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you want to put it? What's with it? You just came. Bitch, you know how much rest I done put in? That's what I'm saying. You need to stop being so crazy. Hey, Ka no Kayla ain't no better. Kayla just chimed in and was like, yeah, bitch, let me tell you why I don't like her either. So you don't like her. That just mess. Hey, she was like, he was like, he made like a sound. She was like, uh-uh. I'm, I'm reading his mind. Like, he don't want to say shit. So I, I'm like, nah, I'm like, you crippin'. Mm. Like, this is, this is, it's, this is about Asian. Me. He said Asian play her music. I do. And I'm just like, what is going on? How did this even come about? Why did this conversation start? Come to find out, Kayla had went and talked to Asian Doll and told Asian Doll the real reason why she was left off of the song Bundles. And that's because Taylor Girls them allegedly didn't really- Who got left off bad and bougie? They fucked with Asian that's what like that and didn't want her on the song. So then after Taylor Girls got word of what was said, Ty went to her Twitter and she wrote, Lord, please remove anyone that smiles in my face, but then gossips about me and plots against me. But it was her post and delete and she took it down. Well, child, that sent Asian doll into a... I'm glad uh, they had the proof, too, because, girl, she had me. Randy, Asian went on Twitter and just post all this stuff. I was just like, you know what? I'm not even finna read all this jibber jabber, y'all. This is just too much for me. I ain't got time oh, for it, so I'm just give you the light light. She very much said, you know what? Y'all wanna talk shit? Y'all wanna act like y'all the victim? I'm gonna tell everybody the real tea. She said, child, y'all didn't motherfucking like me. Child, when Ty came with the camera receipts, I was like, oh, shit. I came to your birthday if I didn't you like a bitch. You messed with the wrong one, honey. I wouldn't have bought her no deep or Bitch, you put me on your motherfucking page. I didn't put you on mine. You put me on yours for my image, for me, for my face card. She also went and said, look, Kayla called me and told me the real reason why I went on the song because y'all didn't want me on the song because she was fucking hanging out with me outside. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. So basically, it seemed like Kayla, I ain't saying Kayla wrong, but it seemed like Kayla like, look, y'all ain't my friend, but y'all going to the studio with her and hanging out with Future. Oh, I'm going to nip that in the bud. And Kayla went and her and said, you know what, girl, look, why they smiling in your face and talking to you, this the real reason why you was not on Bundle. So really, they all <laughs> being men. I definitely think it was real. Asia definitely got caught up in her lie. I mean, caught, caught. She was looking stupid, stupid. And girl, it's just a whole lot of whole lie. I like that music. I like all their music, though. So really, everybody messy. So that's what that was. So honey, after that, the Taylor girls was like, oh, you ain't finna make it seem like we tried to use you. <laughs> so, y'all hear that, right? She said, I did a song with Future, but y'all wanna know some real tea. Like, they didn't ask you. They didn't that. ask that. So it was like, it felt like that's what you wanted to say. You right. wanted to be messy. You wanted this to get out, or you wanted to create this, you wanted this to happen. Um, this had a girl. So she and y'all, so somebody uh put a comment up under my video and said that damn Asian doll is 24 years old. Cause she was like, they little girls to me. And I'm like, I knew she wasn't that much old. I thought she might be like 27 or I lies. Probably 26, 27, not 28. But they little girls to me and y'all the same fucking age. You don't stop. 
finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. She cool. ended up, uh, she went post to the studio with me. I wasn't with myself, but she ended up coming. Y'all know my little friend here. So, yeah, welcome to Future XP. Gotcha. To play my, um, play my, well, I guess, like, they was vibing to my stuff, but now, why she get up and try to pass? She said, uh-uh. <laughs> Girl, you got <laughs> So we walked in <laughs> the session. Future played about twenty she songs 26. before he gave anybody okay. record. I mean, he still, you're three years older. Stop. No, first, this my step. This my She's studio. This my session. I'm gonna play my first. So he played about twenty uh. songs, all his unreleased music. Yeah. <laughs> it's giving both of y'all babies. Let me let me look and see how old she is. Asian doll, uh, get up and play her music. He walked over there. They said a little thing. Of course, we all introduced ourselves. She walk up to my homeboy and say, "I want to play my." Sh me being me, the voice in my head said, "I should have known she was like, fucking what? lying." Y'all, she twenty four. You know what I'm saying? But I this but my body, my body. I was just like, I mean, I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna just let her go ahead and play. This footage and we're gonna it's put the it here I'm on the video you will see them pulling up asian getting out the car getting her bags and stuff she get in a car with her manager her manager let the window down and he's like oh y'all come to the studio we finna go to the studio um follow me to the studio so we're like okay asian let the window down she's like oh who riding in the car with y'all who who in that other seat with y'all i said nobody you can get up here you can get in here so she hopped out you won't see her get out the car with her manager and get in the car with us so i don't understand how you didn't know nobody was going to the studio when you got out your manager's car and got in the girl car. When they had you could have pulled, you could have pulled when off. They had them camera receipts. Damn my shit. When they came with them camera receipts. Come on, stupid. Damn, I hate this shit. Oh, child. Come on, do what you're supposed to do. That ain't gonna help it because it's gonna focus on that. Me. Focus on me. Can you focus on me? Camera, can you focus? Oh, hmm. uh, when she came out with them camera receipts, I was like, damn, that's a wrap. <laughs> I'm like, who just recorded hey, that? Ah, uh, later. Right. Go if you y'all was like, it's the camera from her building. Her building? Bitches got the bag. They didn't want us to be there. If you felt like we was, you know what I'm saying, on some, on some grind, you would have just been like, oh, no, nah, it's cool. I'm going to just go with my, my, my peoples and, you know, I'll see y'all later. She wasn't supposed to come to the studio with me. I was supposed to go myself, but she ended up coming. Y'all know my little friend of yours. So, like, like just visualize the, 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 whole, the whole setup. We walk in. It's so many in there. It's so many artists in there. It it bit like it's everybody. She tried to spin the situation like this was her, uh, her session. Se her session she, with Future. Future paid for her to be there. Like this is this their. We walked in. Future playing all his. He playing all his unreleased music. Shit. It's hella artists in there. It's just a vibe. It's a bunch of creators. It's not just one artists in future and then we just pull up it right. ain't it, it wasn't like that. that it was hella artists in there it was almost like a listening <laughs> session yeah like, like everybody was, was just playing they everybody was filling everybody out long story short they said bring agent to the studio this asian door and i put this on him on my on my soul asian door was invited only asian door and some of her, uh, I guess, songs she had in her little notes or whatever it was, asian was looking to a like let rough. everybody hear what she finna come out with Mind you, I don't know none of these songs. I'm hyping her. I, I don't give a you know it. This my she, she popping her. You the I'm whole dancing. Time. Every song don't know a fucking lyric, bitch. I'm over there, yeah, bobbing the ocean, doing all that. She took her phone off of the court as if she ran out of songs and it wasn't enough for her to play. Like she done played her, 
that's all she wanted y'all to hear. So I'm, mind you, I'm standing okay. up because I'm vibing. He walks up and like, hey, play you got some hard. You play your. Hey, like, come on, like we all in this working. We all in this working. Play your. So I'm like, all right. Like, and I'm not even that type of person that would just try to, do that. Like, I wouldn't do that. Like, I would never do no that if it wasn't asked of me. I done what was asked of me. Why, I guess, like, they was vibing to my stuff. But, like, why she get up and try to pay her shit? I said, uh huh. <laughs> yeah and somebody uh told me that she switched the story up which she did because first she said um she, she asked his her homeboy and then she say um she just got up and started playing her shit she was just lying all together i he made like a sound. Like, uh -uh, like he did like that. So and she said Future did not like our music. He was looking at her weird when we was playing our song. All that a lot of out. This man was vibing out, like bobbing, like walking around, listen, going like this. Listen, and, which I'm and, sure and, he was and smoking a blunt. Like being this type of messy. But let me tell you what's really tea. If a didn't like me and didn't like. I brought uh what the scene that night and heard why the future DM me three days after the session. I never told this man my Instagram. I never told him my name. I never told him none of that. That man found my page and DM me and showed me love. So what the f are you talking about? Yeah, bitches like they little girls to me. You feel me? So I'm not finna go off. I'm not finna be aggressive. I ain't ain't Daisha older than her then? <laughs> Daisha got to be older than her because Ty just turned 24, did she not? Oh, 23. She turned 20. I don't know. But they the same fucking age. I don't want to fight. I don't You technically the little girl. So, Daisha. So, even going to make a YouTube video. Even though Daisha's like 26 that, or 25. This. Bitches is. You, it just, this it just, is a mess. Without me having to even clear nothing, something up. When you going to make a video and you sit and make a video. For views. And to get paid off this shit. Maybe just say you uh wish you would have made a YouTube video. <laughs> just say you wish you would have made a YouTube video because girl, you could have got paid too. You the one who who brought the shit out first. That's the shit I never understand. They got something to do with my name. That explains a bitch character off top. Girl, she did the most of this. I done feel that and had me. She sound like Soldier Boy when he was explaining the uh him shooting a nigga. This is her right here. <laughs> Many fallouts with my friends, and I would never make a video. So that's how you know that she was capped. No, they made a video. No, one. That's you, how you said know something, so they the was gonna, they gonna make their coin. Don't be mad at the person that's gonna make their coin off the situation. I mean, shit. One thing I learned from DDG is you might as well make a coin off your demise. I mean, shit. You came on there talking about us. You sent for us. You know what I'm saying? So, relationship was capped. Number one, bitches get mad and go make a video or youtube video. so, so this is like, but this is like four days after right right so okay. we been had the, the audio we could have been, been said something, something that been messy i just wanted to see if she was gonna say something yeah she was gonna you know come to me and talk I'm to me but she didn't and then she tried to blame the reason she talked was because of kayla came and talked to her but i'm just confused on when was this audio recorded was this audio recorded before kayla even said anything to you or was this recorded after kayla's like because it just didn't make sense the time it just didn't add right. up it don't even matter the audio is put out okay and regardless of the situation you know everybody know everybody seen it everybody know me and kayla's not on good terms why the would you go and listen to somebody who already got got I'm it out tell you what their story added up the timeline they had their receipts woo, woo, woo. now to me this is what i'm just this is what i'm guessing i don't think she would have been mad that they played their music but because kayla had already told her that they didn't want her on the song. I don't know if it's before they went to the thing with Future or if it was after the thing with Future and all this started coming about. I don't know. But if it was before, maybe, you know, Asian was like, oh, you know what, Kayla telling me this. Thank you for letting me know. Woo, woo, woo. But then when they get to this listening session and then all of a sudden Taylor girls want to play that music, I think it went into her head like, damn. Girl, bye. Future asked me to play my music and we in the session. Sorry, friend. <laughs> you could go ahead and uh, turn it up on number eight. Yeah.
Number eight, how to live. Bitch. <laughs> Period. I'm about to turn my Damn. Head. Kayla might have been right. These girls trying to use me. Now, if Kayla didn't tell them before this, it might have went like this. Maybe she played her music. Then when the tele- No, he never, ever, ever understands. I thought I was the only one. That nigga never understands. His logic be like a Gemini. <laughs> His logic is like a Gemini. Girls got on to play day music. For it sure. Slash Aquarius. Bit. He think with the left side of his brain, for sure. It's different if people was really vibing, and so then she feel like she got outshined, and then she want to downplay what really happened in the situation. Because, see, none of us are there, so we don't know what really happened. And if you listen, Ty said, you We know and enough. Said, hey, your shit was going, she never gave him on Instagram, enough. nothing, but he hit her up. So what I don't understand is why it's Asian man. Because mind Girl. you, first of all, you're mad because Kayla told you something. That made you not like these girls. And that's really why you're mad. So, when you went to that interview, you could have just talked about what you got coming up, your projects, woo woo woo. You decided to bring them up. You brought them up first. And I'm just being unbiased here because I, I like both of the girls. But you brought them up. They didn't bring up none of this. Nobody would have ever known y'all went to a future listening none. thing or nothing like that if none. you wouldn't have said it. And you brought it up. All they did was respond to you for saying what you said. Because anybody would have responded to that, saying that I tried to use you to play my music and woo 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 be yada, yada, yada. So they responded. And then you want to respond back and now also retract your steps and say, no, you gave her the ox to play. But first you said they took it and they played their music. Which one is it, sis? Okay. Which one is it? If you mad at them because what Kayla I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna end this video because I'm really tired of talking about this. I've talked about this fucking five times. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video. Peace out.